Hi, this is Brooks. I'm learning Java, and I thought it might be helpful for some of you who might be stuck on a problem if I show you how I solved some common exercises. Please remember there is always more than one way to solve a problem, and many of those ways might be better than mine. So try to solve it your way first. This exercise wants us to write an algorithm to find the number of characters in a given string that do not change position after the data is reversed. For example, if we are given this string and then we reverse the string, put it in opposite order, how many of these characters do not change position? In this example, the answer will be four. This A, these two X's, and this A, which remain in the same place in both strings. We will begin by creating our test string. A string that we will be reversing and comparing. And of course, we're going to be needing to count the number of characters that don't change position, so we will need a count variable. Now we need to reverse the characters in this string. How do we do that? There's lots of ways of doing that. A simple way is to use the string builder object. I'll call it string2. And for the input parameter of this string builder, I will use string1. This is creating a string builder object that contains the characters that string1 has. The same characters as string1 now exist in this string2 string builder object. How do we reverse that? Easy enough. String builder gives us a function that'll do that. Very convenient. Now let's take a look at this and see if it worked. Okay, we can see now that this is the reverse of this. So far, so good. Now to find the number of characters that haven't changed position, we need to compare these two strings, our original string and our string2 string builder object, one character at a time, and see if the characters in both are the same at any given position. A simple for loop will suffice for this. So we're iterating through string one, one character at a time, and we're checking if the character at position i in string one is equal to the character at position i in string two. If it is, we increment the count variable. If not, we don't. And then our answer, of course, will be the count variable. Let's see how that looks. And we have our number, 4. So that's a pretty simple exercise. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or comments. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and hit the like button. I'll see you next time.